All right, guys, so welcome to I Remember This Dream. This is a game that's been recommended to me multiple times by now, and it's basically a first person horror survival ish type of game. I hear that it's really good, and it's technically about a person having a really bad dream, and he seems to be stuck in some sort of winter forest. I also hear there's a kind of a feeling of Whenever you have a dream and you don't know whether that dream is a reality or if it's actually a dream. I don't know. It just sounded really, really interesting. And upon booting the, the actual game itself, the music is actually drawing me in. And uh, I think this is going to be a good experience. So I wanted to try it out. And hopefully it's, hopefully it's a good one. Let's do this. Oh, God. Oh God, I've already been here. I now see this stream every night. Dude, like there is no audio in this game except your footsteps in the snow. And every night, has become a real nightmare for me, webbed from intertwined tree branches and stretching out into the dark, endless sky. Okay, am I looking for something that's gonna kill me? Or There are very few sounds in this world, but there is one that scares me the most. The sound of bells ringing from far away and leading me through the maze of this nightmare. Yo, this is... Oh, God. Okay, okay. This is truly horrifying. So when I looked up this game, I didn't look up any videos. I simply looked up pictures, which is what I technically do, because sometimes you look up a video and then you skim through it and you get into a jump scare moment and then it just messes up the scare for you whenever you play it yourself. So we're going to follow the bell. The bell is going to be our best friend. Dude, everything right... It, it, it feels like I'm stuck in the world of The Shining. I just heard something. Oh, God. I, I can't believe I've never played this game before. This is... Okay, just I try to walk very fast, but at the same time very carefully stepping into the snow in order not to disturb surrounding silence Oh god Oh my goodness Okay, we're gonna keep going but we're seeing that in order to make it not look so horrible one should make noise as much as possible shout laugh and talk with yourself but the sound of your own voice may draw uh may drown out other sounds the sound of barely of a barely heard imminent threat and fear hiding in the tree shadows Listening attentively to the squeaky sound of snow underneath my feet as I walked, I could barely breathe and only prayed not to hear footsteps behind me. Oh, please, no, don't, don't, don't say that. Yeah, don't, don't, don't say that. What the fuck is that? Bro, there's something behind me, bro. I now remember everything. The snow, the forest, the blistering cold. However, I know uh, that once I woke up, uh, wake up, this cold war world would immediately disappear from my memory. Where? Holy fuck. God. Oh, my God. Bro, I feel like I'm, in, I'm literally in a damn nightmare myself. This game would have been insane in VR. Holy crap. OK, 
Okay, is that thing still behind me? That's so true about talking to yourself whenever you're somewhere scared or, you know, dark or whatever. I do that often, okay? I, I think it's going to ease away the pain. It's just going to fade away the pain and, and misery and fear. But it really doesn't. It just makes shit worse. That's why sometimes I just talk a lot when I'm scared, like right now. Okay, we're going to follow the bell. Follow the bell. Follow the bell. Follow the bell. Ooh. A creepy cabin. Oh, I don't want to go in here. Oh, God. I swear to God. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't see. Okay. Waiting for the bell. I don't know. I feel like the bell's inside the house. Oh, wow. Okay, I couldn't even see the entrance. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But this place is not just a figment of my imagination. I've been here in real life. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, but, but I, ca I can't see shit. Oh, my God. All right, we're following the next bell. Oh no. Okay, you, you know you know what you're doing right now. I cannot remember everything. Dreams and reality do not intersect. You only see the dream world while dreaming, but it's all different in the real world. Okay, listen. If there is somebody following me right now, I'm gonna command you to stop this instant right now. Only some snatches of my memory, which in some way passed through the boundary between dream and reality. Give me confidence that I'm in a dream. That's so true, man. Holy crap. Everything about this game is so true. They are small snatches of my memory from the past. Where's the bell? I lost the bell. I was 12 then uh, and studied in seventh class. The regional school was located very far from the village where I lived with my parents. I was some hours, it was some hours walk to the school. Jesus Christ. All right, we've got a nice little rocky terrain here. Walking. <laughs> Oh, God, he's behind me, bro. He's behind you all the time. Fuck. Every morning, my mom call, uh, accompanied me through the woods to the school. She returned every evening to take me back. Yeah, I'm sorry, to, to little Timmy, but mom has left us for dead.
or better yet, mom died? As the years passed by, bringing me to the t uh, bringing me to and taking me back from school became increasingly difficult for my mom. My dad had suggested I stop school, but instead to uh, but I insisted to walk alone. Dude, having bad dreams like a nightmare, it, <laughs> that shit sucks, dude. Especially when you can't get out of it. Oof. Alright, here we go. We're going. Following the third bell. Hopefully the third and final bell. Oof. Oh god, I see something red over there at the end of it all. I wonder if that figure is still following us. I think it is, man. I think it is. Dude, every time I look back and I see it, I get fucking goosebumps. What is that? What is that? In the summer, my journey to the school didn't take long. Sometimes I was even gifted a lift by those driving to the city. Everything changed. As winter approached, days become shorter and the road was drowned in impassable layers of snow. Oh God. All right, this is, this is creepy, man. In winter, I was the only people always released by teachers in the middle of classes to leave. Class to get home before it's dark. And let me guess, it's gonna get dark. If it gets dark, damn it. Though the board was long, I was very familiar with it. In the summer, I wrote it often. Uh, uh, I often, oh, ah! I often run on my bicycle with my friends through the woods, but on one evening in December, I just got lost. My way will be coming back. Okay, fuck. Oh my God, that scared the shit out of me, man. right behind me oh my god i don't quite remember how or why this happened and where i turned the wrong way but i noticed the treetops uh, were recently lit with bright red uh of the setting sun we're already drowned in the heavily gloomy sky god i swear to god man this is creepy as heck. And it's like I'm reading and then this dude, this freaking figure just appears right in front of me. All right, he's gone. Peering into the darkness. Oh God. Uh, an attempt to see familiar places. It's right there. Fuck. I struggled to drive away from myself. I can't fucking read any longer. Uh, I will never get out of this place. I've never walked away. Uh, walked so far away from home. Stories by old men uh, with 
what made me know there used to be a village and abandoned, uh, abandoned by people many years ago somewhere far away in the forest and that since then the village is completely abandoned oh my god we were never forbidden to go there <clears throat> however whenever my friends and i went so far from home we experienced a strange feeling of anxiety the boundary of the imperable impenetrable thicket though which the sun could not even pass we turned around not saying a word to each other and hurriedly went back i dude i did it does it on purpose when you start reading that that thing appears in front of you right there and then Oh no. Oh no. This is very subtly creepy, man. Very, very subtly creepy. Final bell, possibly. Yeah, it's got to be this way. Oh, my God. track I'll never forget uh, that house that cemetery in the church um, I cannot read and look forward at the forgotten village I tried to hide from the creepy creatures pursuing me the forgotten village uh, but I do not remember how I managed to survive to get out of the dark forest many years have passed since then but I still do not understand why this keeps dude I'm scared to read now and freaking I do not trust anything. This game is so well done, dude. This is impressive. This is legitimately impressive. Oh, getting closer. Closer and closer. Almost at the border between uh, sleep and walking. It was there. It was here that the fear, which I always run away from, catches up with me. Everything is repeated again and again and again in each of these dreams. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. But not the pursuing darkness scares me the most. God. We're almost there. We're almost there. Hmm. 
trying to see if this creature kind of pops up out at me again. I feel like everything is so bland, like the colors and stuff, that whenever he comes out, he comes out of nowhere. And you don't see him coming until he's right in front of you. There he is. There he fucking is, bro. Waking up frightens, uh, frightens much more. That brief moment between the dream and the reality. The moment when Nightmares is replaced by reality, but it's still not forgotten. And you regain consciousness. Uh, you regain consciousness has not yet managed to erase the nightmare completely from you. Dude, that's so freaking true. He's right there. It's like you wake up and it's like, shit, am I still in this nightmare? I lost him. Man, what a game, dude. Holy smokes. There he is. I close my eyes. The belligerent monster pounces on me. The disturbing, disgusting munching sounds as the monster tours the flesh into shreds starting, uh, started waking me up. The night force fades and the pale morning light emerges. And I'm enveloped, 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 enveloped? In real fear, lying on my bed afraid to open my eyes. The fear of the future shackles my mind in chains. A future that I do not, sh uh, do not have. Where adult life is just an illusion. I'm 12 years old. Outside by the window, a heavy December cloud brings blister cold and the first snow. This is the first winter I'll be going to school alone. Lying in bed, I struggle to squeeze my eyes in vain. And in a vain attempt to remain, uh, retain memories of my dream, I'm waking up, but I must not forget this dream. I remember this dream. A game by Nikita. Holy cow. That was such a crazy experience. That was phenomenal. Dude, that, that was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Absolutely freaking phenomenal. Wow. Guys, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Um, I know this game is not like new or anything. It's pretty old, actually. It's a, a few years old. Maybe two to three. Maybe a little less or more, give or take. But it was it was so great. It was, it was more of an experience than anything else. And I really, truly enjoyed it. Again, it's, it's, it's that we've all had it. We've all had that nightmare when you wake up and you're like, am I still dreaming? Am, am I still in this nightmare? What the man? That is, that's, what's great about this, this game. You, you can relate to it. Games that are made that are relatable to the player are always better because you feel some sort of connection to them. And I felt that connection. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, looking forward to your, your thoughts on this game or this experience. And yeah, catch you later.